Hello everyone, I'm Charlie from Dr. Wen, and welcome to another daily Doctor Who YouTube video. As I promised you yesterday, and as you can probably guess from this slide and the t title screen thumbnail, then I will be doing my first Doctor Who theory video, and today I'm going to be talking about where the Ruth Doctor, or the Fugitive Doctor, fits into the main Doctor's timeline. If you haven't seen series 12, I wouldn't recommend watching this video because none of it will make any sense to you, and just in case you want to watch anyway, then the Ruth Doctor or the Fugitive Doctor is a previously unknown incarnation of the Doctor that was introduced in Fugitive of the Jadoon, which is series 12, episode 5. I'm going to be talking about where she could possibly fit into the Doctor's timeline. I personally believe that there's three different or, well, four different possibilities about where she could fit into the Doctor's timeline. First off, let's talk about Fugitive of the Jadoon. This is Series 12, Episode 5, and only aired a few months ago. And personally, I really liked it. I rated it an 8.9. It was a bit busy, had a lot going on, but I think it was a really solid episode, and definitely one of the best of Series 12. And it involves normal ordinary human called Ruth on Earth who goes to her old house and discovers that she is a Time Lord known as the Doctor. She digs up a TARDIS from her from her garden and that's where the big reveal is where the 13th Doctor realises that Ruth is the Doctor who used a special type of chameleon arch just like the 10th Doctor has done and several other Doctors have done in Big Finish. The first possibility I think where the Ruth Doctor could fit in is before the first Doctor. There are two main possibilities around this because in Ascension of the Cybermen then we saw another incarnation of the Doctor known as Brendan who he had a special type of chameleon arch that was induced by the Time Lords and they wiped his mind and sent him to live as an ordinary human on Earth about 100-200 years ago. He signed up to be a police officer and after falling off a cliff chasing a criminal he regenerated and I'm guessing it was into a younger version of the first Doctor where the Time Lords wiped his mind again and sent him to Gallifrey to go to the Academy. That's my opinion so personally I believe that the Ruth Doctor is before the Brendan Doctor mainly because the 13th Doctor couldn't remember her in Fugitive of the Jadoon. But there is a little plot hole in this, quite a big plot hole. Um, it's, it's been said several times in the show that the TARDIS got stuck into, and it got stuck and turned into a police box in when the first Doctor was the Doctor. And if the Ruth Doctor is before the first Doctor, then why is her TARDIS like a police box? This might be answered in series 13 if it is revealed that she's before the first Doctor. But at the moment, I'm not really thinking that it's very likely. But there we go. The second different possibility that I think that the Ruth Doctor could be is in between the second and the third Doctors, come the 2.5th Doctor. The main reason I think this is that we never really see two regenerate into three directly. We see the second Doctor's head spinning around in that darkness and then the episode finishes and then in Spearhead from space nearly a year later then people could see the third Doctor going out of the TARDIS. I think this is actually quite quite a realistic possibility since we don't see him regenerate and the Time Lords, I don't know, I think it would have been a bit silly to just exile him to Earth instead of using him, because obviously he's really smart and he has lots of technology. So I believe that the Ruth Doctor could be a secret incarnation of the Doctor that the Time Lord's use in the Division, where she was a chameleon arch and fugitive of the Jadoon happened. This would explain how this would explain how she can't remember the 13th Doctor, but it still doesn't really make that much sense about how the 13th Doctor can't really remember her. After that regeneration, they may have wiped the Ruth Doctor's mind, which would explain it a lot, but the main plot hole behind this is that the third Doctor came out the TARDIS with a second Doctor's clothes with the exact same hole over his left knee, his trousers. I really don't think the Time Lords would have been to that much effort to insinuate that the third is directly after the second Doctor. So there we go. 
The third and final possibility is that the Ruth Doctor is after the 13th Doctor. I think she could be the 14th, 15th, 16th, or even a future version of the Doctor. And the only reason she's saying she can't remember the 13th Doctor is so that she wouldn't cross her own timeline knowingly. I think this is the theory that makes the most sense, since obviously the 13th Doctor can't remember her, but she's just pretending not to remember the 13th Doctor. I think this is quite a good theory and the one that makes a lot of sense, since there aren't really many plot holes surrounding it. I think at some point the 13th Doctor could join the Division and eventually regenerate into the Ruth Doctor, where she joins the Division. I would love to see a series with the Ruth Doctor being the 14th Doctor working for the Division. And I think this is the theory that makes the most sense. Therefore, I believe that the Ruth Doctor is the, either the 14th Doctor, the 15th Doctor, or an even further version of the Doctor. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and feel free to share your opinions about the Ruth Doctor down in the comments. I'll set a card here for a video that I did a few days ago, where I rank all of the New Who Doctors, and you can hear my opinions about the Ruth Doctor in more detail over there. So, next time. Since it's Sunday again, and Sundays are classic Sundays, then I will be reviewing the classic Who third Doctor episode, Doctor Who and the Silurians. Stay in tune for that, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.